I want to talk a little bit about um, maybe a new diagnostic feature which is standardized, which is CE certificated and uh, which is now accredited, which is very important. Um, I heard a presentation in USA, it was also named a game changer, that's the question, is it a game changer or additional test? You heard today a little bit about the aims of the immune competence cells, the natural killer cells, uh, they are uh, named for the chronic activity, you have the Th1 system, the T cells, they are all responsible for your natural immunity and it's not bad to have a natural immunity, so it's not bad to have antibodies or to produce some natural killer cells or not. The question is, is your immune system sick or not? We are all too much concentrated, I think, on the antibody tests and um, what I feel and I think uh, some experts named the test also in Hungary, it's a new kind of test. We should look more for the T cells, not for the B cells. The T cellular system is very reactive. You have a half lifetime of the Th1 cells of the T lymphocytes. It's two, three, four weeks, and the antibodies are not changing in a short time. So I think my opinion is don't look so much at the B cells. B cells are very important for screening tests. We are convinced of that, but they don't tell you much about activity of any disease in the world. Um, you know the immunoplot, immunoplot, um, we do a lot of immunoplots in each laboratory around the world. We do, for example, in Augsburg this Euroline, it's a um, good test producer. We have a very high specificity of the antibodies. You see specificity is around 100%, but um, the problem we all know is in chronic Lyme. In chronic, uh, I recommend the chronic Lyme is a big problem, not the acute Lyme. We are all discussing about chronic Lyme disease, the sensitivity problem of the antibodies, that's a big problem. So the specificity is around 95 up to 100%. But what about this sensi uh, sensitivity problem? We have a lot of studies about that. Um, the first study was in 1993. Um, the sensitivity is the average of all the sensitivities around 43%. That means in chronic Lyme, 60% of the patients, or maybe more or less, they don't produce any antibodies, or you cannot detect them, or maybe it's a question of biofilm cystic forms we heard about from Ellen. So we cannot answer it actually what's the problem of the sensitivity but we are working on it by special methods. Today I got the message we have a new Borrelia subspecies was found in USA, the Amplymoto, you heard about this, the Mayamoto subspecies. And we have so many unknown species, subspecies so that the question is really if the test system are produced for all of the subspecies. I think nobody can answer actually this question.